Hey you guys, so here is an updated wash day routine. We're going to be doing a hot oil treatment, cleansing my hair with two different types of shampoos, using a rinse out conditioner, deep conditioner, and then a leave-in conditioner. Now many of the products you see here are great for protein sensitive and low porosity hair, so let's go. Hey you guys, it is now officially my wash day and it has been about seven days since I've last cleansed my hair and this time we will be trying our best to remove product buildup, which I think I'm experiencing right now. So you guys saw all of the products that we'll be using. Um, first up, we will be doing a hot oil treatment. Now this is a combination of different oils. We have here, trying to remember sweet almond oil castor oil olive oil and avocado oil okay i was going to do the vo5 but the vo5 as i stated has keratin and hydrolyzed wheat protein so double whammy okay so let's take it down a couple of twists we're going to section my hair off i am going to lightly mist my hair before applying the oil i'm going to saturate my hair in oil I know a couple of you guys are probably thinking, wouldn't the hot oil treatment be better after you shampoo and condition? You know, personally, it's a personal preference. I would like to wash out the um, oil, and to me, I'm pre-point. Um, so we're gonna take all the twists down, section my hair off, lightly mist my hair with water, warm up the oil, well, place the oil in um, warm water, and then apply it to my hair. I'm gonna keep it on for approximately 20 minutes. So here is my bowl of hot water, placing the hot oil treatment in there. And then I'm gonna be spraying my hair lightly with water as I stated, and then applying the oil. Now look, I only took down a couple of sections of hair to um, apply the oil, but after a while, honey, I'm like, look, my hair is already in twists. I typically do cleanse my hair in twists. So I love most of my hair in twists while applying the oil itself, okay? Ryan Little. <laughs> Just about done here you guys I'm gonna go ahead and apply a cap and I left the hot oil treatment on for 20 minutes now I'm gonna go ahead and put together my deep conditioner I'm actually gonna spoon some of this Eden Vita works into the Queen Helen super cholesterol while adding some of the honey and the sweet almond oil there is some protein in the Queen Helen um, cholesterol but not a lot okay so we're gonna go ahead and jump into the shower to rinse out the hot oil treatment not bad at all my hair felt very very soft and I'm gonna go ahead and follow up with the suave clarifying shampoo and then I actually diluted the TGIN sulfate free shampoo I only have a little bit left but about two tablespoons and I added um, mostly water this right here is the suave clarifying shampoo so applying this directly to my scalp massaging it in and allowing the product to work down the hair shaft of the suave shampoo in there but that's okay I'm gonna go ahead and take the TGIN again I diluted it with some water but look at how it's going to lather up I'm going to dispense the entire amount onto my scalp um, and I'm gonna go ahead and start unraveling my twist because at this point I want to also ensure that my hair is being cleansed now you guys this TGIN shampoo is more of a moisturizing shampoo okay 
Look at the lather that this shampoo is giving me. And again, this is with about four tablespoons of shampoo. Not even that. I would say about three tablespoons of the shampoo diluted with water. And I got all of this lather. Now, yes, it took me quite a bit of time to rinse the product out, but that's okay. Now, I'm going in between the TGIN shampoo and Cream of Nature shampoo because they are both pro protein free. Now, in my previous videos, I did mention that I feel like I'm experiencing either protein build up or um excuse me protein overload or product buildup now you guys i feel like now this is my third wash i'm almost there i'm about 50 percent there to what my hair used to feel like but it's gonna take again consistency with wash days and moisturizing my hair So here's the Suave's Green Apple Conditioner. Now I typically skip this step, especially when I'm deep conditioning, but I haven't tried this product before and it's supposedly protein free. So I'm not going to use a lot, like half the jar and that's it. And you can see that's not even a lot, not for all this hair girl. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out and then we're going to apply the DIY deep conditioner. <music> So I'm going to go ahead and apply the deep conditioner again that is the Queen Helen's cholesterol. I really didn't have a lot in there you guys probably like one fourth of a cup. Most of the um, conditioner is the Eden Body Works conditioner because again that is protein free with some honey and some sweet almond oil. Now I'm going to sit under the, the steamer and I'm going to be very honest with you guys. I got this steamer, my husband got this steamer for me a couple of years ago. I probably used this less than 10 times, but it is well worth it. So set on the, under the steamer for about 15 minutes. Now I'm going to jump back into the shower. I'm so happy. <laughs> And at this point, I'm going to do some detangling. I really didn't detangle before, but now that I have this conditioner in um, with great slip, I'm going to go in between my wooden cone and this Tangle Teaser. I purchased this Tangle Teaser from Amazon a couple of years ago. Look how it glides through my hair. Wait, why is that? Wait, why you had no clothes on? Get out of here, boy. You're not supposed to, you're supposed to take your clothes off. Bye, baby. Okay, I got your order too. I got you an order of a butt whoop if you don't get out of here. <laughs> guys I am done rinsing out the deep conditioner at least I thought I was done you can see some there at the bottom I had to get back into the shower and rinse out the deep conditioner you want to ensure that you rinse out all of the products um, out of your hair especially since I added honey I am not trying to wake up um, with ants in my bed or something so yeah I had to jump back into the shower and rinse out all of the product I like to allow my hair to air dry for a couple of hours before adding the leave-in. That's just a personal preference. So again, I'm just taking the time to section off my hair and I'm going to, like I stated, allow it to air dry some before applying the Camille Rose Honey Hydrate Leave-In Conditioner. <music> Okay, so it's been a couple of hours and now I'm just adding lightly mist in my hair with water and then I'm going to add the Camille Rose Honey Hydrate Leave-In Conditioner. Look, with this particular leave-in conditioner, I feel like I don't need to add a lot of oil to my hair. 
um, because it can become heavy. So I'm going to section off my hair, add the leave-in conditioner, twist it up. And this is my routine, you guys. Look, I rarely style my hair. I probably at this point <laughs> style my hair uh, wear a style, I should say, once a month. It's not even that. You may you may get a twist out on a good a good month, but at this point, I am not styling my hair. Not in these quarantine streets. I'm not. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to apply the leave-in conditioner, section my hair off, like as I stated, and twist my hair up. <laughs> And that is it you guys this is what my hair looks like close up and yeah I will wash my hair again in about six to seven more days as opposed to 12 14 more days just to make sure that my hair stays okay like I said it earlier I'm about halfway there my next wash day hopefully I will be able to film and I will be actually detoxing my hair and that particular wash day so that is it everyone thank you so much for watching take care Bye.